In order to understand my chosen artwork, you must first understand what surrealism is. According to the Museum of Modern Art, surrealism was an artistic, intellectual, and literary movement led by poet Andre Brenton from 1924 through World War II. The Surrealists sought to overthrow the oppressive rules of modern society by demolishing its backbone of rational thought. To do so, they attempted to tap into the superior reality of the subconscious mind. Surrealism's goal was to liberate thought, language, and human experience from the oppressive boundaries of rationalism. One of the most prominent figures in the Surrealist movement was Salvador Dali. Dali's major contribution to the Surrealist movement was what he called the Paranoid Critical Method, a mental exercise of accessing the subconscious to enhance artistic creativity. Dali would use this method to create a reality from his dreams and subconscious thoughts, mentally changing reality to what he wanted it to be and not necessarily what it was. Salvador Dali has created numerous surrealist paintings, but his most famous painting is The Persistence of Memory, 1931. This famous painting has been referenced many times throughout pop culture. Soup's on, fat boy. Persistence of memory has also gone by other names such as soft watches, droopy watches, or melting clocks. It's an oil on canvas painting that's actually smaller than you'd think. It's only 9.5 inches by 13 inches. That's only a little bigger than a piece of paper. In Dali's book, The Secret Life of Salvador Dali, he explains how the persistence of memory came to be. One evening, he had planned to go out to see a movie with his wife Gala and some friends. At the last moment, he decided not to go because of a slight headache. When Gala left, he returned to his studio to continue a painting he hadn't finished. It was a picture of a landscape near Port Leggett in Spain. He knew the landscape would serve as a setting for an idea, but he didn't know what. Suddenly then, he knew what he had to paint. Gala returned home two hours later. When he showed her the painting, he asked, Do you think in three years you will have forgotten this image? She responded, No one can forget it once he has seen it. Getting into the painting, the landscape has a desert-like feeling. The scene looks very quiet and undisturbed. The painting is asymmetrical in its use of positive and negative space. It uses a warm color scheme, making the focal points the background and the left side of the foreground. Using implied lines, the viewer's attention is brought to the cliffs in the background, 
that are said to be the ones on the coast of Catalonia where Dolly grew up. Through the use of iconography, Dolly uses three symbols that he uses in multiple paintings. The first is the melted clocks, which some think means that time is not rigid and that everything is destructible. Others think the clocks represent Einstein's theory of relativity that said that time was relative and not fixed. However, Dolly denied this, stating instead that he got the inspiration after he saw a camembert cheese melting in the sun. Next is the fly in ants, which represents death and decay. It can also be interpreted as the decay of time itself. Lastly is the eggs that represents rebirth. It embodies Dolly's obsession with the juxtaposition of hardness and softness. Perhaps Dolly's obsession with rebirth is due to the fact that when he was three years old, his parents took him to the grave of his brother, also named Salvador, who had died nine months before he was born. His parents then told him that he was the reincarnation of his older brother. No sé qué. Me hicieron una cosa muy buena y muy terrible al mismo tiempo. Mi familia me llamó el mismo nombre que el hermano muerto, Salvador. Y entonces yo, para estaba terrificado, te, te, tenía el terror de ser hermano muerto y para des, diferenciarme del hermano muerto tenía que cometer todas esas excentricidades para afirmar constantemente que yo no era el otro hermano muerto, que yo era Dalí, el Dalí vivo. This later inspired him to create the painting Portrait of My Dead Brother. In this painting, Dolly also uses psychoanalytic theory with a human creature-like figure in the foreground. The figure looks like half of a face with a male reproductive organ under the nose. Dolly was a firm believer in Sigmund Freud's take on the unconscious mind and how sexual repression can take the form of dreams. Others think that this could be a self-portrait with its eye closed as if in a dreamlike state and with the clocks could represent that in a dream, time loses meaning. As war approached in Europe, specifically in Spain, Dali clashed with the members of the Surrealist movement. A trial was held in 1934 where he was expelled from the group because he refused to take a stance against the Spanish militant Francisco Franco. However, some historians believe his expulsion had been driven more by his feud with Surrealist leader Andre Brenton. Despite his expulsion, he still participated in international Surrealist exhibitions into the 1940s. Dolly later revisited the persistence of memory with his painting, The Disintegration of the Persistence of Memory. This painting shows the shift Dolly took from Surrealism to science and math. He had been greatly interested in nuclear physics since the shock of Hiroshima. He called this period nuclear mysticism. Recognizing that matter was made up of atoms which did not touch each other, he sought to replicate this in his art at the time, with items suspended and not interacting with each other. On January 23, 1989, Dolly died of heart failure at the age of 84. His funeral was held at the Dolly Theater Museum, where he was buried in a crypt. The Persistence of Memory is located at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, where it has been since 1934. For my artwork, I decided to recreate one of my reoccurring dreams. I used pencil and went over it with watercolor paint on plain white paper.